Hey, it's Jim. It's Monday. Just um, wanted to give you guys a little bit more detail for those of you that might want to uh, upgrade the clutch system on any of these Black & Decker or Troy Belt saws to go to the 325. I think uh, one thing that's important to consider or remember is that uh, both Chainsaw Canuck and I have boosted the power on these things very significantly compared to what they were designed originally to be running at. So that's one of the reasons that uh, we're finding now moving to the 325 versus the 38 LP or whatever um, is necessary. Um, normally, Smaller displacement saws uh, or underpowered saws don't have the necessary power to actually pull the, the uh, 325, even though it is narrow curve. But um, because, like I said, these are boosted so much, um, they can definitely handle that. So I was just looking at, uh, at mine. I've got a link there from Canuck for where he got his... Uh, clutch drum and so I just want to show you guys a couple things with regard to that um, I did just pull this off and I put it back on and then I figured I should do a video so I'm doing one um, it's basically the spur spr styled um, sprocket that's on those and um, they kind of recessed around the edge here a little bit to engage into the uh, oil pump and apparently the one that you end up getting um, from AliExpress uh, so number one it'll be a rim sprocket so you'll need to buy a, a rim and uh, you'll want it to say 0.325 slash 7 for 7 tooth but anyway you'll get an actual uh, rim style sprocket not that spur style one that was on the saw originally and so then as things where you can just replace that rim sprocket itself and then apparently the other thing you need to do is just uh remove enough of this for it to actually engage in the uh, worm gear of the oil pump so once i get mine i'll do another video on that but just um thought that it was important for people to realize there's a little bit of work involved to adopt these over so that you don't end up uh, ordering something and then uh, want to scream at somebody because it's not quite what you're expecting. So hopefully that'll give you some info that uh, does help you out. I, uh, I did look at this. Uh, I got a 18-inch uh, Oregon speed cut that I was running on my 4910. Uh, looks like it's going to bolt right on the chain adjuster and the uh, oil gallery here or galley, whatever, um, is going to line up perfectly and the uh, studs are about the same. So uh, that one's the uh, 095, which is uh, similar to a Husqvarna mount or is a Husqvarna mount. So if you, uh, obviously you're going to also need a, a bar um, because you're going to be changing the spacing between the drivers on your chain from the 3.8 slow pro to the 3.25. So you will need a, a bar as well. Okay, so, so it's a upgrade that does take a bit of commitment from your budget. So bear all that in mind. All right. So when I get my stuff, then uh, I'll run through that with you. And I'm not sure, maybe Canuck's already got a video on his channel there for what he did. Okay, thanks.